All right. Back to that Reaper Fire Keeper grind. No, I call it Fire Keeper Reaper grind. So yeah, I've been busy over the past time. Uh, I got a couple of engrams to open up. Why don't we just zoom into the tower real quick? Because there's... Oh, goodness. I need to talk to Eva. I need to talk to Hawthorne. I need to open up some of the other stuff. It's going to be quite the ordeal. I'm going to put Cloud Strike away because if I go to Triumphs... Uh, Firekeeper ought to be proving it. Da, 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 da. Complete matches in Crucible or Gambit playlist to earn Silver Leaves. That is complete. And I do not need to worry about that anymore. Thank goodness. So now I can do all the other stuff. Altars of Sorrows, I bet I can do pretty quickly. Ah, oh, yeah, it is good to be here. What up? Let's get started. Eva beams with pride. Well done, my dear. That kind of work. Eketh, uh, wow. It is very early in the morning. <laughs> Eva beam. Uh, wow. Wow. Wabbit. Wow. Take a nap or something. Okay. Yeah, I woke up several hours before my alarm for no reason today. Eva beams with pride. Well done, my dear. That kind of work ethic will carry you through your whole life, let alone the summer. Ha. Huh. All right, what you got for me? Oh, thanks for the candescent bond that I don't need. Can't even use this for anything. Let's go to the garbo pile. All right. I uh, can only hold one of those sides. I've already completed that one. All that does is offer XP. That'll be fine. Let me see what's over here. Still the Ascended Alloy, although I might, might be able to finally use my Ascended Alloys for crafting something. What can I do for you, Warlock? Alright, give me what's in here. A Palmyra B and a Hero Camo. Oh, 49 stats. Buddy, buddy. Ambitious Assassin, Adrenaline Junkie. Eh, no thanks for either of those, but let me see if I can infuse that into something good. All right, come on. First, the heavy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one I keep. That's supposed to be like the really good one. This one I can put aside. There we go. And as for the other stuff, that storm dancer's brace. Sure, let me throw that on there. There we go. But I'm also in dire need of a couple more. What in the... Oh, I thought it was like an interactable thing. Nope. All right. Hey, Banshee. Hmm. Good. Grab a bunch of these. Done and done. Wait for it. And bounce that out with some of this. All right. That ought to be enough. Because I'm about to be glimmer poor real soon. Did someone just boo me? Who booed me? <laughs> All right. And got to speak to Hawthorne. Man, this area looks so pretty. What up? Hey. Uh. All right, Hawthorne lures. Both light up as you approach. Easy to feel the drift, blah, 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 blah. We got boots. Oh, we got gambit stuff. Ooh, servant leader. That is... Heating up Frenzy Invasion Tractor. I don't care for those weapons. I honestly don't. Uh, boots. All right. Oh, more infusion fodder. Yeah, basically I'm at the point of the game where I'm at max level, so now I'm just balancing out all of my exotics, making sure that they are all at high level. Because you never know what the next season's gonna bring. Okay. Uh, Monte Carlo? I don't like using Monte Carlo. Arbalest. Yeah, Arbalest. This is probably, like, one of the best weapons in the entire game. Let me just throw that in there. Boom. Oh, Traveler's Chosen. That's there. There's my Thorn. Cerberus plus one. There's so many fun little guns. I don't think I have 
well, all the exotic primaries here. Much like, uh, how do I put this? So yeah, Starfire Protocol. This is the one you get from Banshee. I have picked, no, not Banshee, Zhur from over the weekend. I picked it up because for some reason I didn't have one. It's not the best, but it's decent. So I also have an Ostringer. Can I use this as well? Good. All right. All right. Oh, there's the something new. Triple Trap Demolitionist. All right. Enough of that. Uh, heavy ammo, final blows. All right. Today, I'm going to be going around and doing as many PvE things as I possibly can. Defeat bosses anywhere in the system. Complete public events on any destination. Earn silver leaves. Patrols on any destination. Runs of Blindwell or Dares of Eternity. We've got Vanguard Arps or Nightfalls to earn silver leaves. Seven missions or Rounds of Altar of Sorrow. That one, I believe, if you start from one all the way to the end, you instantly complete it. Activities within the Throne World to earn Silver Leaves. Alright. But before we do all that, I'm going to head over to the moon. No, it's not the moon that I need. Throne World. Off to the Enclave. Because... The reason I have this Hollow Denial here is because this was the final Hollow Denial I needed to craft one. Which I may as well. I have met, uh, 9,700 resident elements. That's plenty. I have 10 ascended alloys, 11 technically. We've got resident alloys here, six drowned alloys from the raid. Here we go. Oh, and also, I'm going to throw this on. Un unlock that. Rather, unlock that rather than un unlock. Never mind. Never mind. Here we go. First, to shape a new weapon. Uh, fusion rifle. No, no, no. Trace rifle. Here we go. Hollow denial. Uh, adaptive frame. None of these perks are going to be all that great, anyways. Uh, may as well increase the range as much as possible. We've got ionized battery, enhanced battery. Increases magazine size. Greatly increases magazine size, greatly decreases reload speed. Uh, let's go with enhanced battery. Now for these two. Uh, well-rounded. And wellspring. There we go. No memento. Let's get that going. Boom. Beautiful. Shape of Nightmares. Lock that. I can get rid of this then. Don't matter to me. Uh, where was that shiny new triumph? Where was that? Was it under... Oh, it was under the seasonal quest. Unclaimed challenges. Boom. Unshaped. How far away am I from getting my final artifact unlocked? Good night! I am 30,000 XP away from that. Man, it takes a while. Meanwhile, my power bonus is over a million. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a while. More importantly, let me reshape an existing weapon. Namely, my hand cannon that I have on here. So I can change this to be... Oh, I, oh, I don't have enough glimmer for that. Oh, not at all. I can get all that. All right, here we go. Enhanced dem... Ooh. Do I want to... Hmm. Hmm. Level up in 16. Alright. How badly do I want this to be... There's Outlaw Demolitionist, which is definitely the one I want. But I need to get this up to level 12. But I may as well do that, because why not? There we go. I'm very much a PvE person, not a PvP person, but Ostringer's very good for either. There you go. It's a slight difference in what this gun does. Uh, activating grenade. Reloads weapon from reserve. There we go. Man, I have missed using Ostringer so much, but more importantly, by doing that, go to my postal box. 
I can finally get this. It's been sitting in there for months at this point. Okay. Destination. The moon. We're going to Sorrow's Harbor. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm all oh, right. I'm running. Currently, this is set up to be not the one I like to use. All right. Void buffs have increased duration. Check. I don't want that one. Uh, melee final blows. Which one? Increased duration. That ought to do it. I can. Hmm. Just do that. Throw this on. Here we go. With full armor, that is all kindling related. All right. Here we go. We're going to do some sorrow until we get that one done. I mean, there's a lot of. Uh oh. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Come through. Yep. All right, it's tier two. All right, that's fine. That's fair. Give me the loot. Thanks. I'll take it. I hope these count as bosses. through this is all the fun times of doing Alter of Sorrow. This is definitely one of the best ways to level up weapons if you've got catalysts to do. I think Shirochi is like the most efficient way of doing it, but this is also fine. It just depends how lazy you want to be, if you want to put Shirochi's code in or not. So while I'm doing this, let us recale about what's been happening in the near subreddit. It has been crazy, to say in the least, what's been going on in the near subreddit. So about a month ago, a user by the name of Sad Futago decided to upload a video of themselves playing. Oh, two silver leaves. All right. They were playing near Automata, and they decided to post something like, Hey guys, I can't access the church. To which everyone's reaction is, What church? What are you talking about? So then they uploaded a video of... Well, not necessarily a late game area, but a game you find late in, like, one of the early chapters. Oh, Ooh, right, I do need to do patrols. Where did they take them? Yeah, I only need to collect 11 of these things, apparently. Boom. <laughs> there you go. Just slowly getting that done. Wow. Yep. So, yeah, the new subreddit, user by the name of Seth Dago, uploads a video of an area that no one had seen before. And people were losing their minds over this in the subreddit. There were modding communities playing through every version of the game they could find. So they speculated that, hey, maybe it was a level one region. Oh, no, yeah. it, what, nah, I don't know. A 1.0 version of the game in a very specific region. I think it was like British Columbia they were speculating because apparently the user was from Canada. And over the past week or so, it was just 
user except Futago, which Futago means twin, by the way. People figured that out. And it was slowly, like, slowly, like, showing up. All right, here's the church. And then people were like, wait, there's a chest here. Why is there a chest here? Why did you not open the chest? And then the next video, the chest is open, but an enemy comes over and kills the dude. So then here's how to kill the enemy. And then all of a sudden, there was a trivia question in the next video. It was very convenient how it was all going on. Today, it was revealed that the whole thing was a hoax but also a uh, collection of mods that are going to be released to the community for free using open source tools like Blender and whatever for level design and making your own world. It is super cool. Some people are very mad at this moment because it's not Yoko Taro screwing with us, which I... I was of the opinion that it was totally Yoko Taro screwing with the community, trying to tease like a Dragon Guard 3 release or something. But even then, you know, the signs were definitely there that something was a little. Ow. Dark procession? What does that mean? Alright, it does not like me doing that. Okay. Yeah, there were certainly some signs that something was clearly amiss right from the get-go. For instance, Satchwitago's first posts were of this thing. And all these videos that he was posting and no prior you said oh, No prior post on Reddit. There were uh, plenty of other things. No. Other small little signs like that, like how purposely misspelled everything was. And it's super cool that the near community now will have access to these mods. And the the original intention of the modders to do all of this was to confuse people on Twitter just by a little bit. They did not expect it to blow it up by this much. Yeah, I understand. I understand why some people would be disappointed by oh, this isn't what they thought it was. But then again. Communities really love to take things and blow it out of proportion. Speaking of which, Destiny people who's reading the news on a small handful of users deciding to make death threats to Bungie, which is, guys, don't make death threats ever. Terrible idea. It's just awful. But apparently they're cutting back on communication because of said death threats, which is really, really, so many people are just that awful. Uh, I mean, it is the internet. Can't be surprised by that. Ooh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't die. Yeah. There we go. Get some scorching rays on there. That. And we gon' punch this wizard. Uh, was anyone gonna get the other one here? Boom. There we go. We're good. Love it when my frame rate tanks, but then again, it's also my computer's due for an upgrade soon. It does have a 1080 Ti, which is a very nice card, and it's been working very well for the past four or so years. But I'm looking at the future landscape. I'm like, games are coming out with ray tracing, which a 1080 Ti technically could do at like 30 frames per second. Might need to upgrade. But yeah, GPU costs are going down because crypto crashed to a certain point. Thank goodness. Come on. There's, there's. 
Four silver leaves. All right. Yeah, if I'm only earning like one or two, I may as well swap two. All right, 1560, don't need that. Ew. All right. Going to, if I remember reading correctly, you only ever need one equipped. I'll keep my candescent bond on. Throw, oh, a stat increase of that, okay. Final altar time? Nope, not quite final altar time. I'll take those helium coils. Oh boy. I saw that. Where is that? Where is... There he is. Oh, this was just defeat combats. Yeah, that's easy. Easy patrol. We got more baddies over here. The sword. I said, give me the sword. Oh no. Okay, okay, doing good, doing good, pick up these. Next altar of sorrow. Casual slaughter day. Probably not much talking today. I mean, it's a grind for a reason. Over the weekend, I'm going to be doing a lot more with getting this done. By how much, I'm not sure because there's other stuff I got to do. Because, you know, weekends are also my creative time. Because Monday through Friday, I got streaming. I got, you know, the day job. Uh, so much fun stuff. these things count as losses. They should. They've got that symbol next to their name. To 
It could be majors though. Oh, hey, look, more silver leaves. All right. With that one silver leaf. Proceed to the last altar and face the final nightmare. Who is it, Zydron? Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I know some people have uh, made videos of like the best way to grind for silver leaves. I mean, I'm after the title. I'm not. I don't care for the gear. Tanix again. If you don't know what I mean by Tanix again, please look up. Like, how many times has he been the final boss of a... We have... He was the strike boss, and then he became a part of a raid boss, I believe, for uh, the deaths below. And then he showed up in the nightmares. Uh-oh, guys? Guys? Uh-oh. Yeah, so strike boss and then like the raid mini boss in a, it was Wrath of the Machine. And then after Wrath of the Machine, he became a nightmare. And I think he even returned to like Season of the Hunt. Which was uh I'm trying to remember my timeline. But yeah, he was also the final boss in the Deep Stone Crypt. Like a fine final boss, make no mistake. But also kind of annoying that we fought him again. After like how many times we destroyed him, it's just a little absurd. Oh, I'm out of ammunition there. That is a lot of silver leaves. Ooh, an apple state. All right. Neat. Do I want to keep that? No. All right. Uh, get rid of this. Ooh, thorium hold boots. Uh, I've already have max uh, exotic boots. All right, 56 of those. When it caps out at 100, you cannot collect anymore. So anytime you have... Oh, unclaimed challenges. Where? Oh, this one? Oh. Ooh, Eververse Engram. Nice. And also... Where? This one? Any others? Oh, 2 out of 10. Blind well. Sever mission to Rounds of Altar of Sorrow. It's like right here. We could we could finish this off real quick, right? There we go. 18 out of 24 for that title. Uh oh. Uh oh. Pretty sure if I like solo this. That's a big ogre. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, that was a big punch. There we go. Like that. This. That. Umbrella and gum I don't really need. Okay, more ogres. 
to be the part where I make a Shrek reference, but quite frankly, eh, no thanks. Because somebody once told me the joke was getting old. Don't you dare go in there. Don't you dare go in there. Don't you, darn it. Heavy ammo. Heavy ammo. Oh, well, there's a wizard. Oh, boy. Let me just drop this down so I don't just die. Yay! Yay! All right. Uh, let me just head into orbit real quick. <laughs> just to plan out my next attack, and also to use the restroom because who boy. Oh, before I do, before I take a small break, let's see what's in the engram. A uh, waiting cast shell. Uh, for ghosts who know what lies within. Neat. Don't need that. But more importantly, ah, uh, yeah. Unlock artificer mods. All right, let's go here, General. Boom. One thousand two, no, one hundred two thousand eight hundred and seventy-five lifetime achievement sc uh, triumph score, which is basically achievements. Man, I'm not doing so hot with all that, but yeah, I'll play my next bit of attack. Once I use restroom, so enjoy space for a little moment. And for those of you watching the VOD, I will be back in like a second. All right, and I have returned. So, let me take a look at my triumphs for this. Uh, collect silver ash. That's going to be easily completed. Oh, I got 42 bosses out of 60 just from doing that. Flying Wells of Dares of Eternity. All right, patrols I can do anywhere, public events at any destination. All right, so if I go back to Altar of Sorrow, just real quick, briefly get that done, because I'm pretty sure by the time I get into here, do some stuff, the game will give to me that completion, as well as just killing all those bosses. Uh, there we go. I like only having three Umbel Engrams on hand, because any more than that, it's just like, why? Man, I love this skull look. It is so cool. Problem is, from the behind, it makes it look like the uh, Storm... What is it? Stormbracer's crown? Alright, here we go. We've already got some Flame Keepers here as well, which makes me wonder why these people are... Oh, no. Oh no. Alright, tier two. I'm pretty sure if I complete this one, that'll be it. Oh boy. Oh dear. Why am I picking up room tablets when I don't have... Huh. Weird. Did someone join my party and I don't know it? Because that's the only reason I would be picking up room tablets right now, is that somehow... And even then, there should be something on the left-hand side saying, like, hey, you've got a thing. Oh, you guys can't see that because my uh, camera is covering it. Yeah, there really is. There really is no good place to put the camera so that you can view everything. I tend to put it over there to the left because anytime there's uh, talking, or whatever. All right. Oh, looks like I got to do the next altar, Sara. And oh 
away we go. Yeah, I'm pretty close, so let me just check. Uh, I keep forgetting which button is to push what. Da, 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 da. Bosses, I don't care about the bosses. That one can just be done anywhere. All right, 93%. Okay. This ought to be it. Went from 87 to 93. This ought to give me a higher completion percentage because it's a higher tier, right? Man, it really wants me to pick up these rune tablets for no reason. Can collect these tablets for a good reason. Slams. Oh, yeah. There we go. Man, these poor ogres. There we go. Seven missions, round of altar of sorrow. I, ha I have it to see here. Just one little, just a teeny tiny touch. May as well. I can't hold them anymore. Easy patrol is easy, right? Into space we go. Oh, I can get rid of this blue weapon. Come on now. Give me something good. Okie doke. From here, quests. Bounties. I can take. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Seven missions. Complete activities within the throne world. What does it mean by complete activities in the throne world? Well, in any case, I do need to head there. Uh, it doesn't say if there's a public event happening. Does that mean like altars of reflection? Court of Thorns can also work. Sure. Hopefully this counts. Meanwhile, let me take a look at these candescent boots. Should I be able to upgrade them? Nope. How about the arms, maybe? Remember Zash. All right. Oh, I have large kindling. Oh, wait. Hang on. If I have large kindling there. Small kindling. It goes to large kindling. I swear my boots were up next, weren't they? Candescent boots. That's for re-rolling dash. All right. Okay. Hang on. That's it. Do these things even glow? That's the big question. Like, are these glow? Yeah, they are glowing boots. Okay. 
Well, time to work on the arms. There we go. Fully rekindle any piece of candescent armor. All right. I could go for the helmet one as well, but nah, let's not do that. All right, one candescent bond. 59 leaves. We're about halfway to max, which is perfectly fine. You have details of this. I'm at step 6 out of 10. Small Kindle, large Kindle, fully Kindle, small Kindle, large Kindle. It's going to be fully Kindle, then small, medium, large, and then talk to Eva at the end, probably. We got seven event challenges remain. Collecting Silver Ash, which is done in the bonfire. Defeat bosses anywhere in the system. Complete runs of Blind Wells or Dares of Eternity. Here's your rally banner. Let's get this party started, y'all. I don't think I've heard that one particular line before. I doubt it was added in. There we go. Let's check in. Yeah, by now most people have figured out how to really speed run this. Oh, someone's got Reaper as well. Very nice. So right now I'm definitely focusing on Fire Keeper more than Reaper for the titles because Reaper will stick around after the season is ended. The Fire Keeper will not. So obviously the best strategy is to focus on the one that is not going to be around for quite as long. Man, that is a fancy Titan. So much well. Oh, meanwhile. Waiting. Waiting. This is going a lot faster if more people are on this, by the way. Oh, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing real good. Who is knock it off whoever that is? for a boss kill for me. Slowly but surely with all the speed of a forklift carrying like a ton of work. Man, I've seen continents move faster than this. Come on. If y'all could just, you know, gather around. Gotta enjoy that ambient music. The 
And I've never actually seen this fail. I'm real curious what happens if this fails to get there on time. Does it just keep going? Like, what was it? Season of the Splicer? They had a time limit that was really arbitrary because if you manage to hit it, you just keep going regardless. Ah, look, it's my cousin Vinny. That's a reference to an old, old movie. I say old, but it was only in like 1980 something. Old movies are like from the 1930s and 40s. I'm, I'm sure there has to be like, is it 20 years like the limit for when retro is actually retro? All right, here we go. doing great so that icon I believe means it's a major not actually a boss yeah because the destiny 2 enemies are split into three major categories major minor and boss but hang on minor is the small little red bar orange bar means Okay, the health bar at that accolade, minor. Uh, this patron of the spring, that is supposed to be orange. It's either, should be that. There's also, yeah, that icon next to it, that's like the triangle. That indicates that it's a uh, major enemy rather than a boss enemy. The boss, if I look at this guy, oh, he's not gonna have it yet. That may have been a boss, I didn't, ow, couldn't tell. Oh, okay, this area was already completed. Ah, uh, Oh boy. All right, here we go. Uh-oh, get some healing down. has been disrupted. So now the icon on this fellow, when it shows up, is it not going to, oh, maybe because of gold mag, one of the springs at the bottom, it's not gonna show it above his head. Dunk it. Let's get him. Turn. All right. Let's break these fools. Alright. Get those orbs of power. Well, that was some bright light. Oh boy. Could you not die on me, please? Thank you. There 
go. Ooh, Hollow Dial level up. Nice. Love your work. Impressive as always. Never a dull moment, Guardian. Come to pass. Nah, I don't need that. Get rid of this. Uh, 1560, I don't need that. Alright, did that count for other stuff? Time to look. I wish this would be, you know, like a full page rather than this to tell me like, hey, buy our stuff. Defeat bosses anywhere in the system. Blind well. Patrols on any distinction. Public events. Uh, that was a whole 10%. Wow. Okay. Let me warp over to... The Leviathan. Castellum. Let me actually do containment. Let's warp it over here. See how much this is going to do. Double check. I'm at 66 silver leaves. Alright, one full containment and then I'll head over to EAZ to start dunking stuff. Does this ought to count for a public event? I believe. Technically. Silver Ash, da, 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 da. defeat bosses, uh, runs of Blind Well, or Dares of Eternity. Dares of Eternity got me 25%, so three more runs of that. Public events on any destination to earn silver leaves. This should drop me right in the middle of one. Yep. The nightmares are distant. Oh, that just means it literally just finished. Okay. I hear that, Egregore. There we go. Oh, right. I can't actually summon my thing. <laughs> Alright, somewhere over here is a uh, nightmare. Yeah, I need to leave those guys alive just in case I need them alive for Abandoned this. And alone on the cold and lifeless moon. This nightmare recalls the feeling of being separated from Level 10. Precious. We may be able to substitute a replacement. Friend salvage. You have an unbroken. Alright, nightmare containment. Ah, oh, yeah. This grind is gonna take a bit. Alright, give me this. Alright, let's get this started. Alone. I mean, maybe the Unbroken will help, but I'm not sure if they will. Hungering for the pain of what was lost. Take all that. Go! Boom, another patrol completed. Submissive bunny is near. Uh... No relation to me, Master Wabbit. Let's just put it that way. If I get a text message while I'm on stream, oh gods, that is going to be a. Uh... Oh boy. Let Let's just. I'm not sure why someone would call themselves that, but hey. Egregore, Egregore. Right, where are they? They are over here. I believe this is just a major. Yeah, it's a major.
Oh, this is a boss. You can, you can tell because the bar uh, for his health is slightly more yellow than the icon is like that skull icon. Take the relic. Nope, not the relic. Drop the relic. Take the core of dread. Duncan. Alright, Nightmare on her guard time. This guy's a boss. A powerful nightmare has risen nearby. Find it and destroy it. Silver leaves. Uh, does not count as a public event, apparently. Well, if I get more bosses killed, that's fine. I mean, hey, the man it's a mod, get something done. Public events, that's gonna be running around the EAZ constantly. That's gonna be fun. Alright, give me that. This nightmare relieves the trauma of a guardian long since dead. Only violence will bring it the catharsis it yearns for. Place that harvester. Let's do the this! harvester hungers, and its thirst will not be denied. Silver leaves, good. Oh, there's another one over here. Coincidence index of this boss. Take it and dunk it. Deal with the overlord. Not the overlord, the overload. Go. All right. I kind of was over here. A lot of commands being drawn to the Nightmare Harvester's power for some reason. Alright, here we go. Oh, that music's good. Get over here. I think they notice my name. <laughs> All right. Or they just don't care. Oh 
boy. Whoop, throw that down. Destroy the pilots. There we go. Perfect. There is a patrol over there. I'm not sure which one it is. Oh, boy. That. All right. Now, we're not doing that. All right. This is what I can use. suffers an endless death at the hands of the Hive Gog Crota. Only further violence will lessen its pain. Smokes. That's a lot of them. I sense a current of dread. A powerful nightmare has risen near you. Silver leaves. Oh, there's one up here I can do. In order to disperse this nightmare, we must find an offering to satiate its imprinted desire. I believe I have identified something that may serve our purposes. All right, who's the boss this week? Is it Navoda? I think it's Navoda. <laughs> Yep, Navoda. I've been playing this a little too long to know. There's only three bosses. It's hardly a big deal. Scorn, holy smokes. There goes two, bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna dunk that in. Sure, I'll pick that up.
we go. On to phase three of the boss. Dunk that in. All right, let's wreck Navoda again. Bosses anywhere in the system. Good. Good, 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 good. Let's see. Oh, without remorse. Neat. All right. Uh, two lockdowns in the castellum. For the Don't. longest time, I thought I was the only one haunted by my. Oh, yeah, I've heard this line before. Turns out everyone has a skeleton Zip. or two in their closet. Okay, without remorse. Weapons pattern can be extracted. May as well use it. It's got threat detector turnabout. Don't want to get rid of that. Double checking. 1560. Bleh. That's a terrible roll. Ew. Bad roll. Okay. May as well head to the EAZ because I am at 74. And if I keep going, I'm going to forget. I'll just throw all that on there. Uh, let me load up Dawnblade. There we go. This will work just nicely. Let's go to the EAZ. Oh, there's something in my mailbox I forgot to pick up. Okay. Now, why they had all these negative modifiers? Uh, Scion spoiled Vaughn grenades at their feet. Fallen Vandals spawn a web mine at their feet. Acolytes spawn fire pools that cause damage over time. And taking combatants generate blight geysers when defeated. I, um... Why are they all negative? Come on. Give us, like, one or two positive ones, Bungie. Eh, no matter. Here we go. Floating island in the sky. Gotta say, Ikora's always full of surprises. Show those squatters the door and get this party started. Yeah... I've heard of so many of these lines. Oh, right, I'm still using fusion grenades. I should have known the taking would show up. We can't build the fire while they're draining its energy. Light them up. We've got company. But I bet their ordinance would make for some good lighter fuel. Toss it onto the fire. All right, there's one. Oh, we got Cabal. All right. That dude's going to be way over there. Oh, you coward. Come here. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to bother long throwing this because my aim is pretty bad. But uh, here is fine. Oh, a little more air. There we go. Good. Whoa, whoa didn't mean to do that. Oh, actually, I'll take that. Where is he? There he is. Catch! Maybe you'll pardon me. This way. Oh. 
I stuck myself. That's what happened. Thanks for the res. I got you. I got the other dude. Well, that's all of the take it. And there's more fuel for the fire. Right on time. You know what to do. Reload, reload, reload. There's some bound over here. I'll go for this one. Howdy. Do that and running. Oh, a convenient catch. Oh. Pick up the igniter. Ugh. Doing great, yeah, doing great. Alright, another one's gonna be over here. Right here. Come on now, you're next up on your death is right. I've been on some of these where uh, teammates don't understand the concept of. Can't keep those rotten taken away, can we? Drive them out. Make them regret coming back. All right. Looks like I need to head up somehow from here. Uh, there's a flight up there. Come on, up. Up, 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 up. Right, I'll take care of the blight because I'm literally right here. Nice work. We got more hostiles on the way. Let's get to it, Guardian. We There's a super. Okay, did I use the quote unquote weaker super that is not the. Wow, okay. Chug it! There we go. Eh! Whoops. No one saw that, right? Down there, uh, Mike four one two's got that. Think you got that, dude. Looks like I got my job over here. That was a random drop, Sanguine Alchemy. I don't like using that particular exotic, but who knows? It's one of those things where you never know what exotic is going to become the overpowered mess. I cannot wait to see what Mark does. Boom. I keep forgetting that I'm running the very scorch heavy build. Oh, that was almost a hole. Alright. Here we go. Ok, 
catch. Devour up. Fires are funny things. Burn everything they touch. Keep us warm too. Can't have one without the other. That is a lot of gear. All right, let's go in here. Let's uh, compass rose. Interesting. I don't think I've had that weapon before. All right, we've got tunnel vision and demolitionist compared to triple tap demolitionist. I, I don't care for that as much. Uh, shoot the loot and the adrenaline junkie on, on that boat. Meh. All right, let's see what do we got. 50 to 57. Yeah, I don't need this one. Uh, 58 to 57. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. 15. Let's compare. This one has slightly more resilience to it. And one more point. A little extra strength, but you know what? I'll take it. Let me just do, 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 infuse. And I believe I can also, well... Actually, I can, as soon as I go into quest, this one, this one, that one, do this, do that. Four more to go. I only need four. Hold up, hold up. Complete patrols on any destination to earn silver leaves. Defeat bosses anywhere in the system. Public events on any destination. Blind Wells or Dares of Eternity. There's eight here. That is interesting. Ooh, that mm, that might be better than what I got in the uh, storage. I'll have to see about that. Turn about and vorpal weapon on a shotgun. Uh, let me just head to the tower, dump these off. Come on, be nice. Let's go to the tower real quick. Dump these off. So if I don't need to do every single thing on the list to get that. Oh, Candace Bond, I don't need. Oh, I have 54 ashes left. Wow, that's interesting. No, silver leaves left, not ashes. But I believe now I can get... Da-da-da-da-da! Add small kindling to any piece of Candace and armor. The last thing I need to do is the helmet. I have no kindling. <laughs> it's a 58. Uh, 57. That's a 63. A 52. I don't really need ash for anything, so let's see what happens. Going from 52 total stats to 56 total stats. Increases stats most of the time, with a small chance that its stat total will decrease. So just re-roll stats entirely. That's fine. That's fair. All right, what am I missing here? I knew I was gonna see it. Check him right now. Holy smokes! A lot of stuff dropped and I never grabbed it. I don't need you or you or you. I'll take this. See what happens. Tesseract trace. I could probably just. Yeah, I can get rid of that. Yeah, I don't need Cloud Strike on me because I'm not doing PvP stuff. Neither Crucible nor Gambit. Don't need to. I'll just drop that in the vault. Boom. Alright, what infusion fodder do you have Hello, for me? Guardian. Welcome. A helmet! I think I already have all my helmets up to max. I'll just access the vault. Also, I need to take a look at... Okay. Look at all my helmets. Matt. Oh, this this one's not at max, but then again. Fine. This used to be such a really good exotic. Provides additional damage resistance during Nova Bomb, which you don't really ever die during it. Nova Bomb kills Grant Super Energy, which got horribly nerfed. Apotheosis Veil. There's Dawn Chorus, which I think is <laughs> not even worth using anymore. But more importantly, where's my Sanguine Alchemy? All right, this is a 67 compared to a 63. Yeah, no. 63 is going to get either infused or tossed. Always something to 
Yep, it's getting infused. Infuse. It's a cool looking jacket though, right? I mean, come on. Oh, that is such a good look. There is actually, my clan is running a fashion show. I think I'm, I have until like the end of the month, which is next Sunday. If there is an ornament that is absolutely snazzy, it is this Phoenix Protocol. Absolutely got to be this Phoenix Protocol. Just look at how awesome that is. I just need to find the rest of the outfit for that. So yeah, there's that. Um, let me think. There's more? What more did I do? Oh, to beat bosses. Okay, I forgot to grab that one. Alright, there we go. Probably don't need to do that one. Dares of Eternity, patrol. Oh, I only need to do like one patrol. Vanguard Ops, activities within the throne world. Yeah, I bet this weekend I'll be able to get Firekeeper and then... Yeah, alright. One more patrol. Let's head over to the throne world. Small kindling. Wait, hang on. Can I just add it to my helmet now? Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, there we go. Add small kindling. I need a bunch more. And I may as well get this all glowing because, hey, reasons, right? Quests, thank you. Destinations, Throne World. Uh, that's a weekly campaign mission. Which one of these can I just do like really quickly? Actually, there's a public event coming in there. Let me just start getting to work on this. Ooh, almost able to extract the pattern from that. I mean, I'll craft it because why not? I mean, I I have other active deep sight resonants. You know what? Yeah. Mm. No. <laughs> I want this, not that. This is something new, Canon. Apparently, DreamWorks, now that they've nerfed it, rightfully so, it's completely worthless. But it's still a 120 hand cannon that has an interesting perk for a uh, uh, origin perk. And it's one of those things where I don't think balancing all the perks to one another is pretty much impossible. Because some perks are just going to be better than others. All right, rally the flag. We got about three minutes. All right, hey, look, Osmium. Extra throne world rank. All right. Drop down. Start the patrol. Having fun messing with my comms, glitter bombs? Let's see how much fun you have with my hive peel. Dance. Okay, no prog. Oh, because I need to hit a uh, hive, not scorn. Where are the hive around here? Hive are going to be over here to the left somewhere. Ooh, super shiny gauntlets you can see. One of an osmium. Also, I don't. Oh, here's some. A whole 25%. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to throw on this and this and this and this. Keeping on this bond here. So, Starfire Protocol. This is an exotic that I had but threw away because I don't really play Dawnkeeper. And now that I'm here, okay, there is a reason why there are Flame Keepers around here. Because even though you don't need all of the ex uh, challenges to get the title, you do need... Some people probably just... Need, oh, knock it off. Knock it off. Stop it. All of you. Yeah, you don't need every challenge to get the lane keeper. Ostringer, level up. Nice. I think I need like level 20 or so to get the next uh, full tier exotic perk I want, which is probably going to be Outlaw Demolitionist. That's like just a good combo. Someone died of it. So where am I hive? 
Oh, that's right. There's always some over here in the corner. I got like a minute left. Hive. Oh, hive. Oh, no. I'm a poor lightless garden in the hand. I'm a void light filled guardian who's running around underneath the Titan area with a squad of eight other people. No one? Man. Oh, yeah, sure. The Scorns show up. Yeah, Starfire Protocol. What it does is that my fusion grenades are now uh, a little more enhanced. I oh, may as well double check what it says. Uh. Oh, it's not even going to tell me. Okay, from from here. Fusion grenades have an additional charge and recharge from empowered weapon damage. Fusion grenades kills Grant Rift energy. Empowered. Uh, I think that means something with a fire. Oh, hang on. Do, do, do. Oh, may as well double check it quick. Attention all guardians. The Scorn are using Pyramid Tech to summon their forces. The Hive deserve no way, but this threatens us. Stop them. Alright, this is... Ah. Ah, it's this one. I love this one. Totally no irony added. Alright, here we go. So this particular... Uh, thanks. Oh boy. So empowered weapon kills. I'm not sure what that means. I think it has to do with flame related stuff. More importantly, I have two fusion grenades. Let's just do that. go empowerment what does he mean by empowered weapon goes should I be using um, I'll have to look up a there we go the fusion grenades explode twice because of one of the aspects I have on my character Gorn calls his champion. Well, that's... Why is the shield so weird? Site residence complete on one of my weapons. Like that. Boom. Alright. Yeah, more weapon patterns. I have no idea how many more I need. Also, I much prefer this one to that. So let's get rid of that. Uh I need to run around to where there's actual hive. Which I believe. You think. Should be some if I go this way. Plenty of hive over here, right? Wow. None, huh? Okay. I see how it is. We're just going to go over this way to where there are hive. Unless they've all been exterminated. Okay, there's some over here. There are some over here. Oh, there's a secret over there I could use deep side on. Yup. Ah, uh, the Fatum Previr. Pre that is a made up word. Where am I hiding at? Oh, that's an angry moth. There we go. Taking care of that problem right now. Number 
Viper of Tempering. Oh, come on. One more. One more. Where is he? Where's the unlucky Thrall? Or oh, there's an Acolyte. Oh, wait, there's a Thrall right here. I thought it's an Acolyte from behind. There we go. Lamplighter. Quests. Unclaimed challenges over here. Boom. Yeah, 10% of the public events. That's just going to take a little bit. So why don't we complete something here? Let's go to the Altar of Reflection. Packed. Completing activities in the throne will ought to be good. Just wipe down my monitor because, yuck, it's a little dusty. And spittle doesn't help either. All right, what does it mean by empowering? Let me just double check everything here. Game, I was reading. <sighs> this is fine. This is totally fine. I'm perfectly happy with the way things have been going so far. All right, I don't need those. Get rid of that. Boo. Okay. What I wanted to read was in here. Okay. Empowered weapons. Uh... Solar weapon final blows grant you and your allies increase recovery. While Ember of Tempering is active, your weapons have increased airborne effectiveness. Whoop de doo. Let's see. Charges, scorch targets. Target target. Empowerment. Empow is it radiance? Uh, powered melee attacks against combatants to make you and your nearby allies rate. In fact, yeah, let me swap from the scorch build. Any scorch targets. Spread scorch. Let's apply more scorch to targets. Rapidly defeating multiple targets with solar ignitions grants an orb of power. And then defeating scorch. To it must be radiant. It's got to be it, right? Power and melee attacks against combats make you and nearby allies radiant. Uh, scorch targets. This is not going to be a scorch heavy build because I. Don't care for Scorch. Solar weapon builds. Range restoration effects have increased duration. Solar weapon final wells can increase recovery for a short duration. Apply more Scorch to targets, but compare that to... So the weapon or ability final blows extend the duration of restoration and radiant effects applied to you. That seems to be a little better. Uh, gotta love theory crafting. Also, we have um, heat rises to Icarus Dash. Those two go together pretty well. But if you had to split between one, I much prefer heat rises. So that consuming healing and increase the strength of your burst. Uh, this is the Touch of Flame. Healing, Solar, Firebolt, and Fusion Grenades have enhanced uh, functionality. Fusion Grenades explode twice. And with that, Powered Melee Attacks against Combatants make you and nearby allies radiant, which is what Celestial Fire does, because it's a way more powerful thing than Incinerator Snap. And then Solar Weapon or Ability Final Blows extend the duration of Restoration and Radiant applied to you. But now that I am down to underneath a small amount, let me just... Oh, hang on. There we go. 77 discipline is perfectly fine for this loadout. All right. Daybreak projectiles. Let me just swap to Radiance for this because it's actually the better one because it has a much lower cooldown as well. Okay. I think I could be mistaken, but this should be pretty good. Although I do want to swap out from this to... That, and let's swap in that. No, wait, I actually swap in that. Okay, the cursed pool is time for kindergarten. Time for kindergarten puzzles. All right, that's going to be the X, the Shrieker, the Blink, and the A. That's X. Here is the Shrieker. The Blink. And the A.
Alright, trial complete. The next trial begins. We get... So, Blink, Shrieker, A, and C. That's not quite it over there. It's very similar. Where is it? It's Blink, then Shrieker. Alright. Oh, there you go. Blink, Shrieker... There's the A over there, and I need to find the C. That, by the way, these names are just what I call them. I'm sure that if you were to run this with another group, you would get a vastly different... Where is it? I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. Okay, open the door. Here we go. Alright, now that I'm radiant, uh still radiant. Still radiant. All right, there he is. Hi, big fella. Here, have some of this and another one of these. And he goes down like butter. Anyone else? Big scary boy. Oh, there's the big scary boy. I catch. Are we good? Shoe moth. All right. What truth slash, slash lie is Salvatore going to tell me this time? Because I swear her stuff contradicts each other. We talked before. What is the witness? This is the truth. The witness birthed the, the darkness. darkness. I think I've heard this line plenty of times before. The darkness is the errant child of a tight-fisted creator. A force designed for wicked purposes, but with a will of its own. Come on, Sabbath, and wrap this up. You have begun Although, a tug of war to claim could do. the darkness. For yourself. Watch this complete in real time. Nope. Nope. Watch it go from 15 to. Or it's already at 15%, isn't it? Oh, up to 20%. Yay. That's going to take a while. Uh, I already did Pact. Let's do... Where's the other one? Choice. Here we go. Something slightly different. Also, it was telling me that there was a... There's a thing I didn't collect here? Where is it? Ah, yeah. Two more to go, baby. Fly Wells, there's a fraternity, public events. This is the one I'm not looking forward to. While wearing a set of fully rekindled candescent armor, complete dungeons, raids, and... Night Master or Grand Master Nightfalls or win rounds of Trials of Osiris. That one, I don't think I'm going to do. Okay, time for more kindergarten, kindergarten puzzles. Which one's going to be? It's that one, that one, and this one over here. So what do we got? All right, Alpha Shrieker. I, I, I. I. Oh, here's one. Gotta look carefully for where this one last one is. Fortunately, uh, 
if you shot one in a particular like column section thing, then there we go. It's that one right there. It won't be on the other one. So there's three separate ones that you gotta shoot on three separate platforms. But nonetheless, we are here. Also, uh, no deep sight residence progression. Wow. Okay. Fine. Using this weapon solo is probably pointless, but whatever. It's what I got. And it's a powerful shooty. Eh, whatever. Let's cause some mayhem! <laughs> oh, hi! And out he goes. So as per usual, run up here because for some reason the AI in this section uh, caught, as soon as you kill the big boss, they all just start rushing up here for some weird reason. Oh, hey, look, there's our uh, Lucent Archivist. Oh, no, I'm so scared of you. Catch. Okay, that was a full get down, Mr. President, if I ever saw one. But there's a catch. Very angry mods. Wow. All right, just grab that. Uh, that a guilk. What are we getting this time? Probably something I've heard about a hundred dozen times before. Also, I have a text message from someone. Let me see what that says. Probably a scam. Yep. <laughs> I asked you before, why did the traveler choose the hive? This is the truth. In a moment of grace, the ultimate act of forgiveness the Traveler placed its own heart into the hands of its enemy and said, Change your ways. We, who have fought all our lives, chased and warred and killed, how could we comprehend that? How could we accept such a complete denial of self-preservation? It defies understanding. Am I free to leave? Good. 25% of activities of the throne world. That is going to take forever. But nonetheless, let me just head back into the tower real quick. Because I believe I can infuse this heavy weapon. I do have a red herring that I have crafted. I want to see if I can input it into that one. Make sure. Uh, solar weapons are extended the duration of restoration and radiant. Increase recovery for short duration. Does that mean while Ember of Tempering is going on, I'm like slowly recovering? Could be neat if it was. But let's see what we got here. Welcome back. Yes, hi. I'll take this. And then just get rid of it. <laughs> Thanks for the enhancement, Core. So yeah, over this weekend, I am probably going to get Firekeeper. As for Reaper, who knows? So, let me just double check. Do, 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 do. Wait, that? Oh, that's bad omens. Where is the crafted rocket launcher? There's the crafted rocket launcher. Here you go, darling. Eat up. Yeah. Level weapon 19. This cataclysmic fourth times to charm and box breathing is not a good combo. Four times to charm? Good. Box breathing? Maybe not the best. Regardless, that is, I mean, I could try and squeeze in another EAZ thing, but I don't need to. So yeah, there is a number of things left to do for me to 
fully upgrade everything. Complete runs of Blind Well, Jairs of Eternity, complete public events. I need to complete activities within the throne world. Vanguard Ops. One, two. I think that's all that's left to get everything to be maxed out. So, yeah. I'm willing to bet I'll get that completed over this weekend. And, uh, hang on. Dance. Or that. That works, too. So, yeah. Probably over this weekend, I'm going to be getting Firekeeper, maybe the Reaper title. And if that happens, Monday we won't be playing Destiny 2. I'll be playing something else, or maybe just Destiny 2 regardless. But uh, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, do that. That is where I will mention, you know, what's going to happen on Monday. And then Wednesday, uh, probably a little more Solstice, just a little bit. And then next Friday, I'll uh, decide what to do then. But, yeah. So far, it's glad to be back from vacation at least. So, until next time, everybody. Take care.